murdered by Stockton police. And Sequita is Stefan Clark's grandmother. And Stefan Clark was murdered in her own backyard. And I, I just, you know, I want to share the mic. It's all about sharing the mic. It's not about just me and you, it's about all of us. And when one is hurt, we all hurt. You know, it doesn't take for you to lose a child to know what it is to lose life. It doesn't take, it doesn't have to happen to you. And you don't want to wait till it happens to you to say that now I gotta do something about it. You can do it now. While you still live it. While you have the life and the blood is still running warm in your veins. Each of us have no excuse to be family, to be friends. And I just want to say, uh, uh, Stephen, you know this uh, hummingbird I have on my neck, he gave to me. And I thought it was a beautiful gift that he gave to me. I told him my mom loved hummingbirds, which is a mystical bird. And he gave me this necklace. And I my, myself will forever cherish it. Thank you so much. This is Sequita. Hi everyone, good afternoon. I want to thank you for having me today as we are all trying to heal while we also mourn the lives of our family members taken from us. I am Sequita Thompson, grandmother of the 22-year-old Stefan Clark, my grandson, who was murdered on March the 18th. 2018 in my backyard by Sacramento PD. My grandson was on a path towards success and stability to support his two sons. When he was taken from our family without any responsibility for his murder, without taking any responsibility for his murder, Sacramento PD and Attorney General believe that they, they did my grandson a favor by murdering him. They want us to believe they, that assisted suicide by cop is a, a legitimate and unbelievable excuse to murder someone who is unnamed. I'm here to tell you that neither my grandson nor Sandra Bland committed suicide. Cops lie on all the time. They lied on my grandson. They lied about Sandra Bland. And we just recently learned about the lies regarding Oscar Grant as well. So now what? Now we organize and apply pressure, make it, make it harder for them to get away with the lies that tear apart our families and communities. Starting with California B, Bill AB 392 and moving forward and up in every other avenue towards justice. Ask yourself, what does justice look like to you? If we can all answer that question and work towards that goal, every day we can change the world. I wish you all peace in this journey to justice and freedom, and thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Denise Friday Hall, and my son is Kobe Friday. He was assassinated by Officer David Wells in Stockton, California. If David Wells had been following the rules of the Racial and Identity Profiling Act, he would not have been murdered. So he was committing a crime right there by not following the rules or the regulations that the Senate had passed down for them to stop racial identity and profiling. He was walking down the street to the corner store. He was assassinated by this officer. He shot my son in the back 13 times. He leave four children, he had two jobs, he wasn't doing anything wrong. Even the uh, spokesman for the police department said that he had not committed a crime, he had not done anything wrong to be pursued and to be assassinated by this officer, David Wells. Not only that, the district attorney keeps showing up at different places where the families are and saying, I mourn with you or I feel for you. If you feel for us, stay away from us. The DA, stay away from us. The chief of police, stay away. 
If you guys are not gonna prosecute these uh, officers, if you're not gonna jail them and let them go to court like any other individual and get their day, which my son didn't get a day in court. He got tried, convicted, and assassinated on the spot. So I say today that we gotta make sure the laws go in force, yes. The officers and the police chiefs have to uphold the law. So I say once again, no justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No racist, police. Say my son's name, call me Friday. Say his name, call me Friday.
that need to hear what we're speaking about. Because passing the law and Senator Weber passing the law to be able to say that uh, it has to be no 